Hi everyone, my name is Azari Cruz and I am a digital media production student at New England Tech in East Greenwich. I recently had the opportunity to shoot a project on 8mm film and because I love silent films, anything from the early 1900s and 1920s, I decided to do a day in my life but the silent film version. <laughs> so I just wanted to show what it was like to go from being a full-time student going to school every day to having to do school from home. So I hope you guys enjoy.
It's chilly. Hi, baby. Walk. Look at you go in the snow. Good job. Hi. Are you chilly? You want to go inside? No. No? You're going to go back that way? It's hard, it's hard to get snowballs when you don't have thumbs. Oh, Dada made a good one. Snowman. Oh, snowman. Oh, I'm sorry, pumpkin. This snow's not really that good for snowmen. Snowman. Snowman. Right there, Daddy. She says snowman. There you go. Yeah, put that on top. Very nice snowman. Oh, he has two heads. <laughs> snowman. The winning of Nugget Nell. This gem of a home movie has been the treasure of our family for some 90 years. We are grateful that the Rhode Island Historical Society is willing to take custody of it now, to treat it with care and to bring its delight to a wider audience. I must give credit to my father, Bill Farnsworth, for being the first custodian and his willingness to respond to the pleas of my two brothers and me to show it yet again. The winning of Nugget Nell film in Rhode Island's South County in a dried up area of a nearby schoolhouse pond. It was among the last examples of home entertainment in 1928. The players in order of appearance are Disembodied Hand writing the title Archibald C. Madison, Board Censors, Mrs. Thayer, Libby Farnsworth, Director, Henrietta Goldthwaite, Photographer, Mr. Thayer, Pickaxe Pete, Bill Farnsworth, Nugget Nell, Virginia McLeod, Black Bart the Foul Fiend, Gordon MacLeod, Lurid Luke, the Lanky Lover, Joel Goldthwaite.
Hi, my name is Eli Nixon and I live in Pawtucket, Rhode Island where I made the isolating together home movie toy theater spectacular you're about to see. Um, and uh, that was in the end of March when the pandemic was still new to us. I hope everybody's holding in there out there. Take care. Thanks for watching. Once upon a time, there was a virus that swept through the land. So, the people that could stayed inside. They were alone in new ways. They discovered how to use their roofs and porches. They grew closer with pets and neighbors. They resisted turning into machines. Meanwhile, I have no porch. I have no roof. I have no soap. The virus came from bats. Finally, at last, those that survived felt themselves changed. They went outside. They learned from the virus to transcend borders, to jump species. To build the world anew. Together. Hello there, humans. Uh, my name is Ray Terry, and um, these are some old Hi8 videotapes that my dad uh, recorded when I was a child about 20 years ago. So, yeah, it's just some clips, and I uh, hope you enjoy Terry Family Movies. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
You're moving too fast. Yeah. Slow down. Go back the other way. in your own bed now. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Well, how is the tooth fairy going to bring you? She can bring it in my room. Uh -uh. Can you sleep with me in my room? No. You have to try it tonight. Don't knock that out and lose it. Hi, so this clip from the Longo Family Home Movies is of my first Holy Communion back in 1980 in New Jersey. Um, big Italian Catholic family. My dad was the youngest of 12 kids, so you'll see the whole party unfold. And the part that I've always loved about this is um, that I am hula hooping in my white Holy Communion dress. That was a hand-me-down since my older sister wore it first. Hi. Hi. Say hi again. Oh, look who's there. Oh. <gasps> Scarlet. Oh. You and Julius are wearing almost the same color. I'm unmuting you, Mom. There we go. I'm un you were muted, so I unmuted you. Oh, okay. Hello. 
Hi, Mark. Hello. Hello. Hi, happy birthday. Uh, happy birthday. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Thank you. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. Thanks. <laughs> Hi, Mark. Hey. <laughs> ah, Scarlett, did you garden today? Yeah. Yeah? All day. All day. What are you guys planting? Vegetables. Vegetables. What kind of vegetables? Uh, red peppers, tomatoes, which I don't like. <laughs> okay. Anything that you do like? And jalapenos. Jalapenos. Hi, I'll unmute you guys. Hi, Scarlett. I, I was asking Scarlett a question and she was telling me all the different things that she's planting. So I heard jalapenos was the last one. What else are you planting? Red peppers, tomatoes. Are you planting brownies? No, we can't do that. You can't? <laughs> really? That's not how brownies are made? No, you have to bake them. Oh, all right. I thought they grew in a garden. <laughs> Scarlett, can you do me a big favor? Come on, sister. Can you give Grandma a big kiss from us since we can't give her a kiss? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's from all of you. <laughs> No, that was just from us. Scarlett, Congress can do it their own way. Grandma, kiss for me too. Oh, another, another one? Scarlett, can you do another one? Yeah. <laughs> can you give Grandma one for, kiss for me? Yeah. <laughs> one from each kid. She has four kids. She's not wrong. Oh, not one from me. Oh. What about one from your daddy? Yeah. <laughs> Say he can kiss her, kiss her yourself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to go the other way. So this is my dad, Carl Bender, um, and when 
I was a kid, I used to always hear about the fact that he had a squirrel named Irving. So Pop, if you could just tell us tell us a little bit about Irving and how long he was with you and how he came to live with you. He apparently had fallen out of a nest and our family sometimes took in weird things. So somebody brought him over to us and I took him. And he was so tiny at first, I used to feed him warm milk from an eyedropper. As he got older, we would take him uh, outside more and he would go up the trees in the yard. And when you wanted him, you would scratch the bark. And when he heard you scratching, he would run down and jump onto your shoulder. Mm -hmm. And then right around the time of the first snowfall, he disappeared and he didn't, didn't come back. But the following spring, when I was walking to school, I was a couple of miles from the house. Um, I saw a red squirrel in a small tree in a front yard. So I climbed partway up the tree and started scratching the bark. And mm -hmm. he came down very, very close to me, but wouldn't actually come all the way to me. Yep. So I suspected between the tail and the fact that he actually came towards me, it might have been Irving and he might have you know, survived the winter and was now living on his own outside. Hey. Where you going? I bet I'm a chill. Good. <laughs> I'm listening to some music and I'm sending it to send them to people. Mm. I do that all the time. <laughs> now I'm the same way. And everybody like my my selection. You too? Mm -hmm. I'm the same way with my friends. I'm always sending them like really good songs all the time. They're always like, where do you find this stuff? Like, how do you have the time? I'm like, mm -hmm. I just pay attention, I guess, or something. Mm -hmm. I got it. I think maybe I guess I got it from you or something. <laughs> that sense of music. I have some good selection, man. You want to go through some tonight? If you want? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I was thinking about it. This is what you're doing in there. I was just finishing up my um, my editing. I couldn't, I have to find like this audio and stuff to put on a video, but I can't decide what to go with and stuff for the most part. I'm like uh, trying to find something that helps me talk about being uh, 23. Mm. Yeah. Like, I think I want to go along with the idea of um, 
I feel like turning 23 has been basically confronting fear. Like everything that I've had to like just figure out and deal with, I have to like do now or never and have that like relentlessness to myself. Yeah. You deserve it. Keep up the good work. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. <laughs> the only thing I can say is that, well, thanks. <laughs> I know you're surprised, right? But well, man never yeah. let you into it. So yeah. <laughs> I can hardly say anything. <laughs> Hey everyone, my name is Jonathan Pitts Wiley. I'm the creator of Quarantine Times, and just to tell you a little bit about this uh, film. My buddy Dan Phillips from over at Retina, he invited me to be part of their eight millimeter film festival, and so I said sure. Um, he was like, just film whatever you got around, and this is the height of quarantine <laughs> on a certain level, or getting out of quarantine and getting into the spring. Um, and so my sister in law was in town; she had her dog, and it was great because it was just a lot of you know family time well spent.
um, a lot of stuff from around the house and a lot of stuff, you know, going out when you can go out sort of with your pod of people, but not necessarily interacting with others. Um, and it, it was, it was amazing to do, um, because it was a nice reminder, even in putting it together, it was a nice reminder, but there were some, some good times and tough times. And I hope that, um, that gets reflected in what you see. And, and thank you so much for, for allowing me to be part of this. Take care.